Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In yesterday's video we installed a new Creality Sprite Direct Drive Extruder on the Ender 3 V2 behind me. When installing a new extruder on your printer you always want to make sure to calibrate the E-steps. That way we can make sure the extruder is not under any unnecessary strain, trying to push too much filament through the extruder when it can't, or possibly if you're not extruding enough you could have some issues with layer lines in your prints. Without further ado, let's hop right on into it. All right, we're going to start off here by going into our settings and we're going to note what our current E steps are. So go into settings, calibration, and then there should be a setting in there for your E steps. Note what the E steps are. Next, I'm going to remove my old filament. I'm just doing that because this filament is black and I'm going to write on it the black Sharpie. So it will be a lot easier for me to use a white filament. I'm going to set my calipers to 100 millimeters and then I'm going to measure 100 millimeters from the nozzle. I'm going to note where that is, try to be exact as possible, and then just go ahead and mark the filament with a sharpie. Next, we're going to tell the printer to extrude exactly 100 millimeters. You can do that in the move function in your printer. So click on move. Click on the extruder and then scroll up to 100 millimeters and push enter. Let your printer extrude the 100 millimeters and then we're going to come back later and check where that line is. The line should be exactly perfect with the inlet of your extruder where we started the measurement. Mine was pretty much perfect so it doesn't really need any adjustment but if yours wasn't perfect you're going to want to go to ph3dstudio.com in your browser. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. In here, we're going to enter your current E-steps. This is the E-steps that we noted at the beginning of the process. This is what your printer is currently using. Um, in here, you're going to enter the actual length that was extruded. So for example, if your line is five millimeters above the tube where we took our measurement, then you're going to want to say in this box that the actual length that was extruded was 95 millimeters. And then your new E-step value that you're going to put in your printer will show up down here. If your line is below the tube, that means that it extruded too much. So then we're going to put in the calculator 105 or whatever the exact measurement that it is below the tube. Take that new E-step value and put that into your printer and then don't forget to hit the save settings button. That should cover it. You should now have your E-steps calibrated. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. This is a brand new channel. I appreciate any support you guys can give me, any thumbs up, whatever. If you guys are interested in more content like this or product reviews in the future, please get subscribed to the channel. I appreciate everybody watching and we will see you in the next video.